So, yeah, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much for being here on a Thursday this early. Uh, we are here to discuss decentralized sustainability, a very important topic nowadays uh, with everything that's happening. We believe that blockchain technology has the, the potential to be an enabler for a greener future and a more sustainable future. So we joined today forces with the Dutch Blockchain Coalition with the Dutch Embassy, Berlin Partners, and Birdchain, uh, just to showcase important use cases that are happening both here in Germany and in the Netherlands uh, about how blockchain is being used as a, as a force to enable a greener future. So just a few words from the organizers, just uh, a couple of, from Birdchain. Birdchain, it's a Berlin blockchain community that it's reaching out to connect the community both within and with ex external stakeholders. So we want to visibilize what's happening in Berlin and in Germany in the blockchain scene. And for this, we do different types of events, such as this one. Uh, we have a bunch of members uh, that some are going to be participating today is Eon, uh, in which we want to showcase the diversity of what's happening here in Berlin, both connecting the ecosystem within the different players and also getting ex external stakeholders to know what's happening and engage in collaborations and in future uh, synergies. So we also have uh, partners like Spiebo, BTC Echo, and Berlin Partners, with which today uh, we are organizing this event. Uh, and we, have, we do different types of activities to do this, networking and events, promotion, exposure, uh, learning, promoting education about blockchain, uh, and knowledge about what's happening and we do workshops, working groups, and we try to promote Berlin as a blockchain capital. And yeah, everyone is welcome to join the community if they want. And yeah, if you want, because we are a bit tight today, uh, if you want to know a little bit more, you can just get in touch with me. Uh, I'm going to be around here during the whole event. So now, without further ado, Eva from the Dutch Embassy, she's going to introduce herself. Thank you very much. And uh, very well welcome, everybody. My name is Eva Vergles. I am the startup and scale-up liaison at the economic department of the Dutch Embassy here in Berlin. And this event is a follow-up from a study that Bergchain actually conducted for us on the blockchain landscape in Germany. Very useful. We were only able to do a digital roadshow at the beginning of February which was great, it gave us a good overview of where blockchain stands uh, in Germ on the German market. But we said, well, if we want to follow up, we would want to do it live. So this is the first follow-up live event, and this one is on the role of blockchain in the area of sustainability. And then with a specific focus on supply chains, mobility, and energy. So very much looking forward to this event. And we have a big group of Dutchies here. So very welcome to them. And they're great that there's a circular house. And with this, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and with this, I'll hand the mic to my colleague Thijs Koops, who is from the Dutch Blockchain Coalition. Yes, thank you, uh, Eva. Um, and also thank you, Santiago and Jacob, for organizing uh, this event uh, together with the Blockchain Coalition today. Um, yeah, a, a few words on the Dutch Blockchain Coalition. Um, um, it's a, it's a public-private partnership initiated by the Ministry of Economic Affairs in 2016. Uh, so almost six years, uh, six, seven years ago. Um, focusing on the innovation of blockchain technology um, within the Netherlands, um, together with um, uh, uh, government organizations, knowledge institutions and the private sector. Um, focusing on blockchain for good applications um, uh, yeah, within societal problems within our society. Um, uh, logistics, health, uh, security, and especially also focusing on sustainability as an important topic for, for blockchain innovation. So I'm very glad to see all of you here together in this uh, beautiful place, the Circular House. Um, and I hope you all enjoy this, uh, this afternoon event. Um, yeah, that's all to say uh, for now. And uh, I would like to give the microphone to you, Jacob. Thanks a lot. And I will 
start with a small presentation. Uh, I don't know if you want to sit, yeah. <laughs> then I can just take the stage. Um, <laughs> that was easy. Uh, <laughs> uh, kindness is so aggressive. Um, yes. Hi, I'm Jacob, Jacob Zwiers from Berlin Partner. I'm also a co-organizer, so thanks also for all the other guys that already mentioned something here. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today. Also, in the morning we had great discussions uh, at the Dutch Embassy, I guess, and I'm really looking forward to this um, afternoon event. Um, i just here to tell you a little bit about what is Berlin Partner and why I'm here and why we what we can do maybe in the future together um, as a cross-border project between Berlin, Germany and the Netherlands. Um, as we have seen over the last years, I think it's not only in Berlin, uh, worldwide and also in the Netherlands, we have uh, the differentiation in the development of actually Bitcoin that become many, many cryptocurrency and Bitcoin as a use case, the first use case of blockchain that has become through smart country, uh, con contracts uh, into a lot of possible use cases when we think of DeFi, NFT, SSI and so on and so on. And this kind of differentiation of the technology we can also see in Berlin when we see at the possible applications fields. So we have uh, a lot of um, very engaging players here in Berlin when it comes to music, music tech. We will hear something about today when it comes to energy, mobility. We have a vivid scene when it comes to IoT, the IoT Plus network. This is also represented a little bit by Arne Flix, which is in the first row here. Uh, we have also public administration um, use cases. So we can all talk about this today. I'm here and I'm, I'm looking forward to yeah, hear what, what you're doing. Um, I get got already inspired uh, in this morning, so I will really reach out to you <laughs> also uh, in the afternoon. Maybe you can see what we can do together between the countries and, and, and cities, maybe. And if you want to know more about the Berlin ecosystem when it comes to blockchain and Web3, you can also you get the um, slides later. I put there some links, you can check it, uh, a, lit, a list, a, a bunch of startups that you can check here if you maybe you're looking for uh, cooperation, dialogues, um, exchange, all that stuff. Uh, I just wanted to highlight one project. This is ID Union. Uh, the ID Union project is one of the four big showcase um, projects in Berlin, funded by uh, the Ministry of uh, Economics and uh, Sustainability, is it called right now, I think. And this is based on the idea to create an open ecosystem for decentralized identity. Uh, management and let's try to figure out how data sovereignty can be guaranteed in the internet of the future. So if you want to check out, you can just click on the link later. You, I can also tell you about this more later. I'm here also around. And I also wanted to highlight that Berlin is not only the city of blockchain, uh, it is also the city of networks itself. And we have a really vivid blockchain Web3 community here but we also have a really vivid creative industry community here. We have uh, IoT networks here um, when it comes to VR, AR. So this is really interesting when if you conceive uh, blockchain as an emerging technology that is really evolving, co-evolving with other technologies. So in Berlin, you can also meet other tech communities. So if you have any idea, um, you can also reach out to me. We can find a way to create um, similar events like this to meet other people, uh, possible uh, potential applicants. So we can also think about this together. But uh, just to highlight that, that connecting networks is also a big part and uh, I think a big momentum of synergies here in Berlin. Um, we also have, just to give you an imagine what Berlin Partner covers. Um, I, I forgot actually to say what is Berlin Partner. Berlin Partner is a business uh, development agency of the city of Berlin. Uh, what we do is that we help in general companies to come to Berlin, to thrive in Berlin and, and companies that are in Berlin to provide them with our services that I will uh, provide you in a couple of seconds, but I also wanted to highlight that Berlin Partner, as the Business Development Agency of Berlin, tries to cover um, yeah, a lot of the industries here in Berlin. We have um, organized ourselves in clusters, so like Health Capital, this is where the cluster I am work for, ICT, Media and Creative Industry. We also concentrate on energy, uh, mobility, logistics, also optics and photonics, so we can also help you to get in contact with partners, potential partners in these kinds of fields. 
and we also support with our services I just mentioned. If you're looking for offices, um, co-working spaces, uh, facilities, lab, uh, labs and so on, we can help you with that. If you are looking for partners when it comes to university, maybe for EU projects, we can also help you with that. If you're looking for f financial funding here in Berlin, we are also give a first navigation on that. If you're looking for talents, we can help you with that and we also um, yeah, highlight it over the last months with special programs uh, like Back to Global on international internationalization. So um, this is also a big part. And we have a brand new service that really fits today's topic. It's the sustainability service. With that, we try to um, yeah, help companies in Berlin to yeah, help them on their way towards sustainable development. And uh, we are really diverse here. So like, let's say you are a company that is really starting to think about uh, what is sustainability. We can give a first orientation. But even uh, if you are a company that is a little bit further on that road, we can also help you to give you more detailed information, get you co in contact with experts and you all with your brand new um, startups, you can also be part of our list. So, because what we do is that we, we are more a navigator, we are a multiplier, we are a communicator. So, we just collect uh, positive use cases. And if a company reaches out to us and say, okay, I want to compensate my climate footprint, and maybe that's a, we can say, have you thought about a blockchain solution for that? Um, we can give out a couple of company names, so maybe this is interesting for you to just reach out to me so I can know you to uh, recommend you to other companies, actually. Uh, this is what we do at Berlin Partners. I think I skipped this. Uh, you can read this afterwards. This is, this is just a text, what I just said. And it's just to keep you, just to give you a short overview that we are well connected in Berlin. We can help you, for example, to get to know the ecosystem here in Berlin when it comes to sustainability. And Berlin is not only a, a hub of digital technology development, it's also a hub of very active and very important players when it comes to sustainability in Germany. For example, we do have the WWF or the Bundesverband Nachhaltige Wirtschaft, so the um, Federal Association of uh, Economic um, Economy, um, yes, association here. We are also here, and we are very thankful that we can be here today in the Impact Hub, which is also a really vivid place for economy, um, impact-based economy, so to say. Yeah. If you want to reach out, here are my data, but I'm also here. I can also give you my data uh, in person um, later. So I would like now to hand over the mic to our moderation for this event. This is Teresa, and welcome her on stage. And thanks a lot that you're here. Um, thanks, Teresa, that you are here, and I give you the stage. <laughs> Thank you, Jakob and a very warm welcome from my side also. Uh, my name is Teresa, I'm a founder of a Berlin-based consultancy for innovation and purpose design. And for that matter, I'm very proud to be at this event and to guide you through today, tonight, and I'm very looking forward to the contributions tonight because I think it's gonna be very, very interesting and we're gonna have a very interesting discussion at the end. Lots has been said already, but I think this event marks a very special moment of courage and a moment of um, uh, opportunity because two countries decided to go together and think about possible solutions, challenges for two important topics of our time, sustainability and blockchain technology. So tonight we're gonna discuss challenges, possible solutions, scenarios, and discuss the, the question how we can use digital innovation for a more sustainable world. And as ja Jakob already said, we're in a very special place tonight. Um, we at the um, Impact Hub, and I think they've just, like the, it's not long, too long ago they've moved here, and I also think you already got a tour around here, but this place is very, um, they, they made a very big step, even just in a couple of last months, to uh, be represented and really to set a good example for a circular economy 
and for a community of yeah, initiatives, organizations, startups, all around the topic of sustainability. So I think we we'll, can be very happy to be here tonight and maybe look around a little bit while, while we're here and because there's very um, interesting organizations and people around. All right, let's see what we're going to do tonight or going to happen in the next three to four hours. I think, yes, we might have a, a little slide here. So um, it's going to be a keynote to start off with. And the keynote is from, I have to look at my uh, notes, Lukas Seringer. So we're going to start, okay, he's right here. So I'm very much looking forward to, you know, to your keynote. And then we'll have three sessions which um, kind of follow the same procedure. There's always going to be presented two use cases, one from a Dutch initiative and also one from a German initiative. And they kind of go around the same topic. And we have three topics all together, which is supply chain, then we have an energy track and the mobility track. So on each track or topic, there's going to be two use cases presented with, of course, the possibility to ask some questions and to get in a little discussion. But then after this, we have like a fourth session where we're going to try a fishbowl discussion. How that all goes, I will um, explain a little bit later, but I'm pretty sure that we're going to have a fruitful discussion and um, yeah, very hands-on and future-oriented discussion. So I'm looking forward to this and to our speakers on the fourth and panel discussion. Before we start into the keynote, I want to appreciate that we're here tonight and we have the opportunity to see each other and to get to know each other, to change, uh, change thoughts and really maybe even find solutions together. Because as Jakob already said, we are a very diverse round of people here from big different uh, backgrounds, different nationalities, um, different expertises, and I'm pretty sure different opportunities and perspectives as well. So let's make use of that and uh, yeah, let's change our thoughts and opinions for uh, finding solutions for the future. Because we are here, I think we, are all, we have uh, entrepreneurs, we have founders, we have representatives of uh, big organizations, we have students, so we have really lots of different people and I heard that breaks are very much appreciated during this event, so we're going to have a, a couple of breaks in between for you to mingle, to, uh, yeah, and to get to know each other. 